Welcome to BrewTuber, I'm Dan. And I'm Julia. And today we're in Lombard, Illinois, checking out new Whistle Brewing. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> 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 yeah. Let's hear that noon whistle blowing. Noon Whistle has two locations, one in Naperville and one in Lombard. Today we're checking out the one in Lombard. See this massive parking lot? Parking is not an issue here at Noon Whistle. This one's called Dodging Traffic. This one's an Imperial Stout, and it's a 12 percenter, so get ready. <laughs> oh, I'm ready. <laughs> oh, wow. That is so smooth. It is like a, a mild chocolate flavor, mm -hmm. but I mean, it really, you get a lot of that lovely stoutness, stoutness to it, okay? It's, it's kind of like a Guinness with like a little bit more chocolate taste to it, it's really great. I would not buy for a second no. that that's nearly 13%. Yeah, okay, yeah. that is a 12.9% ABV, all smoothness, all yummy, silky, sexy goodness. Yeah, this is the Octo Gummy. This is a New England IPA. Oh my, of course, it's so good. What I love is whenever you see gummy, you're like, ooh, like gummy worms, like things like that. But this has this absolutely great, juicy, sweet, citrusy, everything you could want. Perfect. Perfect. You did it again. I, damn it. This one's called Lit. This is the Imperial Pilsner. First on this channel as well. Mm. Look at us expanding. Okay. Wow. That may be <laughs> the best Pilsner I've ever had. It has a fuller mouth feel than a typical Pilsner. I think maybe that's why I like it so much. There is a little bit of that like wheat bready taste that you normally get. But what I love about this is that at the end, sometimes Pilsners have this very like in your face aftertaste. Mm -hmm. if no right. like pale ale finish, mm -hmm. okay? This no. is like, again, this is super smooth, man. This is the Liesl Weapon. This is an award-winning Hefeweizen. Oh yeah. I love Hefeweizens. I'm usually the Hefeweizens gal for this channel. And <laughs> what I love is that there's not too much of that like banana. What I love is that it's smooth, it's light, easily drinkable mm. any time of year. But I think you could literally drink like four of those and be set for your day. This one's called Big Strike. This is a West Coast IPA. Oh yeah. What I love about this beer is that it dials a lot of the bitterness part back. I feel like it tastes like honey and hops. It's a beer that I feel like Ooh. if you're not an IPA person and you're kind of like trying to get your way into IPAs, this is a great starting yeah. place, okay? Especially great. for the West Coast style. This is actually very balanced, very well done. All the beers here are kick ass. They're really good. This is the Brewski. This is a Czech Pilsner. I've never had a Czech Pilsner before. Oh. So here we go. Ooh. This has a awesome 
caramely start to it, and then it has a very light finish. It eases into mm. it, refreshing, light, just what you want. Pilsner all the way. I think like up front there's like a little like tartness. Yes. When you yeah. first take a sip of it's it. A little tart on your tongue. But then mm -hmm. when it like settles on the palate, bready notes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good flavor. Love bread. Remember when Oprah was like, I love bread. No. Okay. I'm bracing myself, y'all. <laughs> this is uh, this may be a mistake, but we're gonna go for it anyways. But it's a big seller. It's a big seller. So... This one's called Ghostface Gummy, and it's hot. This is a New England IPA with wait for it, ghost pepper. Okay. You do smell peppers on your nose, yes. okay? Right from the beginning. Let's see how spicy this bad boy is. Okay, not too bad so far. <laughs> Okay, actually, the, the heat's really good. There is heat. There is definitely heat. I feel it on my palate. It burns my throat. There's lovely, hazy New England IPA goodness in this one. Very tropically, very citrus forward. All the things you want. There's heat, but it's not terrible. No. It is not terrible at no. all. It's actually really manageable. Even if you took one of those like Taco Bell, like hot sauce packets, this is still yeah. nothing compared to that. Like, you can easily drink this. And this is super tasty. This is a kick-ass beer. Look at your little dance. Look at you go. <laughs> this should be Julia picks a beer based off of the title. I'm gonna say that. No, well, you haven't seen the graphic, though. Your thing is the graphic. No, I know, but I was gonna you can't say the do title. That. But you I did pick it, it off of the title. You okay, can't do that. Finish. You can't do that. You have to stick with the bit. You, it, it can't be multiple things, okay? Pick where. Stay in your lane. Oh my god. Stay in your lane. Oh god, you're so. <laughs> People are enjoying brunch. It's time for Julia picks a beer based off of a graphic, and today's pick is Good Vibrations Apple Pie. This is Good Vibrations Apple Pie. This is a golden ale. Mm -hmm. I'm picking up the good vibrations. She's wow. giving me the excitations. Okay, you get apple cider right at the very front. It has this sour tanginess right from the get-go as well, and then it has this utter sweetness that follows up. So think Ooh. about like literally yeah. drinking apple cider, beer, fall, pie. <laughs> Everything that this title of this beer is is what it tastes like. Try that. There's a good balance between the tartness of the apple and then there's like cinnamon sugar yes. sweetness that comes mm -hmm. through. Hence really, the pie. It really is like apple pie in a glass. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the awesome thing about the Lombard location is they actually have a full kitchen. But make sure to check the hours on their website because sometimes they actually have limited kitchen hours. You want to make sure you can get here to experience this full menu. They have things like shareables, handhelds, like such as pretzels and like a grilled cheese panini. You can't go wrong with their food here. They also have like pork belly bao buns. I remember we tried that here too. That was like outstanding. So again, give their kitchen a try. And also on Saturdays and Sundays, they have a brunch. So make sure that again, you check out that brunch. You can pair it with any of their awesome beers they have it's here. It's just a great like thing to do on the weekend. They're also super family friendly. So bring the family along. Noon Whistle also teamed up with Stern Pinball. Certainly the Lombard location has a whole series of pinball machines which you can come, pay to play. It's awesome. I mean, some of my favorite things in life, as yes. Julia knows, my favorite things are beer and pinball. And yes. the fact that there is a place that has it all under a single roof is phenomenal. The tables are awesome. Have fun, sip your beer, it's amazing. Don't forget that Noon Whistle has trivia on Mondays at 6.30. There's $4 drafts for every beer that's under 9%. And another awesome event, Noon Whistle, is going to be having a birthday coming up. <laughs> Eight years in the industry, in the business, making some of the best brews yes. that we've had. Oh my gosh, these beers are phenomenal. Thanks for watching, BrewTubers. As a disclaimer, you have to be 21 or older to drink alcohol in Illinois. Make sure you give us a like and a subscribe, and be sure to comment below on what your favorite Noon Whistle beer is in that comment section. As always, be responsible, tip your tenders, drink locally, and cheers. Cheers. Okay.